Welcome back here to Hustle Park Baptist Church as we open God's Word today here on Wednesday midweek uh, to try to get uh, some words from God, uh, from the Lord to be able to help us through each and every day. I know there's a lot of folks out there that uh, are sick. And there's a lot of folks out there that uh, need a little encouragement today. And so we want to pray for them and we want to encourage each and every one through God's Word here today. So let's begin today with prayer. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for all that you've done for us. We thank you that uh, you're with us through all things. And even though uh, we may be in troubled times in many of our lives, I pray, Lord, that we are trusting you, that we are having faith in you today. And I pray, Lord, today as we finish this lesson, we find ourselves truly having faith in you with all things. In Jesus' name we pray and ask. Amen. Faith is what I'd like to talk about today, that we do, do need to live our lives in faith. In the book of Hebrews today, in chapter 11, verse 6, it said, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that dil dil diligently seek him. We must have faith in order to be pleasing to God. Now, that rolls off our lips very easily, but I really believe that a lot of people's heartache and I believe a lot of people's uh, suffering and I believe a lot of the unhappiness that people have is because of the way they live life. They are living life without faith in God. Uh, they have their eyes on everything but the Lord. We need to think about the Lord. We need to look to the Lord and just have faith that he is there for us through all things. The book of Hebrews in chapter 11, it talks so much about faith. You know, if we look at faith, and we need to understand faith is something that uh, a lot of people in the world can't uh, experience because they got to have proof. They got to have facts. But verse 1, it said, now, faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So we've got to be able to look in our lives, look in our situation, and say that I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I don't know how uh, we're going to overcome these things. But I have faith in God that it's all going to work out. And I do believe with the a coronavirus, with cancer, with no matter what comes your way, maybe unemployment, uh, maybe uh, relationship problems, it doesn't matter what that may be today. Our confidence, our faith is in not uh, the circumstances, it's not in a disease. Our faith is in God. God is greater than anything that comes our way. We got to have our substance of things hopeful. I've got a hope. I've got the belief. I've got that assurance that God is there. We must have faith. Must have faith. It's so important to have faith because He said we're not even pleasing to God if we're not if we don't have faith. In fact, we have to have faith in order to first be saved. Ephesians 2, 8 says, For by grace are you saved through faith. Through faith. Not of yourselves. My salvation and your salvation does not come from something that we've done. It doesn't come through baptism. It doesn't come through church attendance. It comes through faith in him. For by grace through faith we have salvation. Uh, he, uh, Acts 27, 25 says, Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God that it shall be even as it was told of me. I, I believe if I, as I read God's word, as I hear testimony from, from so many different people about what God has done, I've got to believe that God is still doing. He has done, he is still doing Today, we must have faith. It says in verse 2, For by it, by faith, the elders obtained a good report. 
Through faith, we learn that the world was framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Some people and scientists believe that just a big bang. Well, all the substance that the bang supposedly put in place already existed. But the world was created by things that wasn't already existing. It was God speaking it. We've got to have that kind of faith where it all comes from. It says also the results of faith in so many people's lives, and we'll see a few of them illustrated here in God's word. Verse five, it says, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before the translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. We already read he couldn't be pleasing to God without faith. There's a lot of folks that are we're worried about things that uh, we shouldn't worry about. We should have faith that God, it's in God's hands. Because if we don't have that faith, we're not being pleasing. Enoch was pleasing to God. Are we pleasing to God today? One thing about having faith, we have peace. Romans 5, 1 says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Being justified by faith, we have peace. So it does prevent us from fearing. In Mark 4, uh, verse 40, he said unto them, Why are you fearful? This is Jesus speaking to his disciples. How is it that you have no faith? They were on a ship. The storm was coming, and Jesus said, You have this fear because you don't have faith. You may be living in a storm today, and you're worrying and fretting over things, but where's our faith? We, we may have our children, uh, maybe that they, we've raised them the best we knew how, they've got out in the world, and maybe they've gone on the wrong way. But we turn them over to the Lord, and we have faith in the Lord. Faith in the Lord. That God's going to put things in their way. God's going to uh, convict them. God's going to raise up those seeds that we've sown into their hearts and their lives. We've just got to have faith it, to be able to see and have that, that peace. It prevents that fear. Daniel, if you remember when he was thrown into the lion's den, he was saved because he had faith. The king, when he came the next morning, wondering if God had spared him. He spared him because he had faith. He slept I believe that night in faith. Not in fear, but in faith. It keeps one from sinking down into our misery and our sorrows. It's what happened to Peter, wasn't he? He found himself walking on the water and then all of a sudden he looked at the seas and the water and he began to fear. He took all his eyes off of Jesus. He quit having faith in Jesus because Jesus is how he got there. If you remember, he asked, could he come to him on the water? And Jesus said yes. He had faith in what Jesus said. I mean, who would normally step over uh, the side of a boat and start walking on the water unless you had a confidence that you could do it? He had confidence because he had faith in the word of Jesus. We must have that today to be pleasing to have confidence, to be able to overcome things that come our way. So many of the elders obtained it. That's what he said in verse 2. The elders obtained a good report because they had faith. It is amazing what faith can do. And yet so many times we decide and trust in so many things that we can do. We trust in things maybe the church can do. But we need to have faith in God. It, kills, it tells us the heroes of faith. Talks about them. Here to Abraham in verse 8, it said, By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into all the places he should uh, have to receive for an inheritance, he obeyed, not knowing where he was going, but he had faith in God. Abraham was a hero. He was a hero because of his faith. 
said in verse 7, Noah was one of the heroes. Noah being warned of God, of things not seen yet, but he had faith in God to start building that ark. And he was pleasing to God. We find Moses also in verse 27. He was a hero. It said, by faith he forsook Israel, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured and seeing him who is invisible. He believed in God. Israel uh, marched around the walls of Jericho. Here it says in verse 30. He said, by faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were com uh, compassed about seven days. All the heroes, Abraham, Noah, Moses, and even Israel, they were heroes. I wonder how many heroes we have today. I'd love to be able to look out and see each one of you and say that you're a hero. I believe one day we'll stand before God and God's going to recognize heroes. Those that live their lives by faith. What better thing can we do for those around us to walk in this life? So many people. You remember there's a man that by the po uh, pool of Siloam, he told him to go and dip. He told Naaman to go and dip. And by faith, they obey. Today, let's get over our fears, get over our troubles, and become heroes, and be pleasing to God because of our faith. So let us pray. Dear Lord, I pray today for each and every one that's watching. I pray that they find their names written down as heroes, heroes of faith that were pleasing to you because they trusted you and had faith in you. Things not seen, but having confidence and faith in you. In Jesus' name we pray and ask, amen.